Hello and welcome to Simple French Cooking. My name is Francois and today I want to show you a beautiful grilled tuna dish that I learned in the south of France. It's also the perfect time to pick the last of my sorrel. I think I'm going to put that in the dish as well. Slice two baby fennel or one larger bulb of fennel. Peel four slender carrots or two larger ones. And then you're going to want to slice them and you don't worry about the thickness too, too much. Slice half an onion thinly. Mash one clove of garlic, peel it, and then you're going to want to slice it thinly as well. I like to take the fennel fronds and chop them up and add them as well along with about two ounces of fresh sorrel or two ounces of baby spinach. All right, we've assembled all of our ingredients. Are you guys ready to get cooking? Pour in a couple tablespoons of olive oil into your saute pan. Then add your carrots, your onions, and your fennel. A couple sprigs of thyme or summer savory, rosemary might work well. Whatever herbs that you have on hand that you enjoy, add them now. And you're just going to saute this till everything's soft about five minutes. Glaze the pan with one cup of chicken stock. You could also use white wine or water or any combination thereof. You're going to add your sorrel or spinach, whatever you decided to use, and just let this simmer away for 15 minutes or so, 10 to 15 minutes. What you want is everything to be soft, well mixed, and most of the liquid cooked out. Season your tuna with a little bit of fresh thyme, some flake salt. I like to add a little summer savory and sometimes some fennel fronds chopped up. Drizzle just a little bit of olive oil over the top and let this marinate for a couple hours. Pour a little bit of oil onto a hot griddle or saute pan. Sear the tuna quickly, about two to three minutes on each side. You want the tuna still to be cold in the center and bright red. When you're plating, just put a spoonful of the fennel and onion and carrot mixture on the center of the plate. Top it with a piece of the tuna. And then I like to drizzle a little bit of lemon olive oil. You can find it in specialty stores over the top. And that's it. This is tuna how I had it in Provence. It's a beautiful dish. Give it a try. <laughs>